2022 Toyota Sienna Woodland Review, if you want to be my crossover. There's a not-so-small subsection of the auto community, to which I belong, that goes absolutely bonkers for minivans. It was our 1993 Dodge Grand Caravan that made me love these boxes on wheels. For our family of six, the caravan was a huge upgrade from the Chevrolet Celebrity Wagon we traded in, rear seat climate controls, elbow room, and a built-in booster seat pour moi. I was in love. Today's customer isn't so easily swayed, and the minivan styling, some dare to call these magnificent creatures uncool, is its greatest liability in the fight against three-row crossovers, as well as a perceived lack of rough road capability. Toyota is here to change that with the 2022 Sienna Woodland Edition. Based on the popular XLE trim level, the Woodland has standard all-wheel drive, 0.6 inches of added ground clearance, and a few cosmetic touches to turn the efficient, spacious hybrid minivan into a would-be crossover rival. Those willing to embrace the minivan life are going to love it. The Toyota Sienna, redesigned for the 2021 model year, is one of the more exuberantly styled vans on the road today. Although it doesn't avoid the short hood, long windshield pitfall that seems to drive consumers away from vans, the Sienna compensates with squinty headlights bookending the corporate Jellybean logo. The large, trapezoidal grille on the bumper is undeniably bold, and Toyota designers get extra credit for hiding the fact that most of it is blocked off. The Woodland's dark chrome exterior accents, trim exclusive cement paint color, and standard roof rails attracted at least one admiring glance from the neighbors. The Sienna looks like it was shaped by the wind, with crisp rocker panel contours that rise dramatically toward the angular D-pillar. Stylists reportedly took inspiration from Japan's Shinkansen bullet trains for the new minivan, and if you squint, you can sort of see it in the high, sloping hood and swept bodyside contours. Things start to fall apart on the rear end, which compensates for the rest of the Sienna's smooth styling with an overabundance of angles, edges, and slashes. I do appreciate the black plastic rear bumper and cargo sill, which helps the Sienna look a bit tougher, as well as add some scratch-resistant loading practicality. Inside, the Sienna Woodland Edition gets standard black Softex faux leather upholstery, jazzed up a bit with bronze stitching and an attractive geometric pattern embossed into the surface. Otherwise, it's your basic XLE fare here, with a high center console with a huge storage cubby beneath it, a few decorative splashes of striated aluminum look trim, and a swoopy dashboard housing analog gauges and a 9.0-inch touchscreen display. Crossover converts will love the console shifter and tall seating position, and the Sienna is a pretty nice place to spend a long drive, as long as you don't have to interact with the dated infotainment system much. Materials up front and in the second row are nice enough without sacrificing spill and dirt-friendly ruggedness, while the third row is decidedly more plasticky. That's par for most non-luxury three-row vehicles, though. Minivans live and die by their passenger hauling capability, and unfortunately, the Sienna comes up a bit short. Both the front and second row bucket seats are comfortable and supportive, and the latter pair slides fore and aft to provide a bit more legroom for folks in the way back. Even so, third row passengers will lament the tight shoulder room and claustrophobia-inducing windows. The Honda Odyssey and Chrysler Pacifica do much better on that last front, with larger apertures that let some light in. Cargo capacity suffers as well, especially if you need to haul longer items. Seats up space is respectable at 33.5 cubic feet, but with the third row folded, and not all that flat, mind you, the Sienna only offers 75.2 units, down at least 11.4 over the next worst minivan rival. Maximum luggage room is worse still. At 101.0 cubic feet with the third row folded and the second row scooched forward, it's not removable, and it doesn't fold flat, the Sienna comes up more than 39 cubes short. The Woodland Edition comes with some features to appease folks who are willing to haul their cargo outside the van. A roof rack with crossbars and a tow hitch rated for the Sienna's 3,500-pound towing capacity are both standard. Even so, the Sienna offers more interior room than any crossover. In fact, its below-class average cargo area with the third row folded is still bigger than that of the Chevrolet Tahoe. And space is but one aspect of the Sienna's decent comfort score. A pleasant freeway ride, four cosseting bucket seats, and limited wind and road noise help the Toyota Hybrid feel downright posh on a long trip. I also like the hybrid system silent, 
smooth EV operation, and the van is capable of some decent speed without firing up the engine. Push the accelerator too far, though, and the engine and CVT are prone to persistent high RPM drone. Oh dear, I've become a bit spoiled. You see, my two most recent Toyota products before the Sienna were the Tundra Pickup and the Lexus NX Crossover, both of which sport the automaker's newest infotainment package displayed on a big 14.3-inch touchscreen. By comparison, the Sienna's old software looks and feels very dated, with laggy touch response and graphics that haven't been stylish since the Bush administration. And compared to its chief rivals, the Sienna's tech suite still comes up short. The Kia Carnival SX, for example, boasts the automaker's excellent software displayed on a 12.3-inch screen, and the Chrysler Pacifica Touring L's 10.1-inch display gets standard wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, neither of which are available on the Sienna. Toyota's 4.2-inch gauge display is likewise unimpressive, but at least the twin analog gauges are crisp and easy to read. Unfortunately, the same can't be said of its grainy rear camera. Thank goodness for standard front and rear radar sensors. Kiddos in the back seat might be happier with the Sienna than the adults up front. My Woodland tester came with the $1,415 rear seat entertainment system, which puts an 11.3-inch, 1080p display on the roof over the second row and an HDMI input in the second row console. But again, the Pacifica one-ups the Sienna with available Amazon Fire TV apps and a pair of rear seat displays. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.